Well, this video is going to be about another idea I had about dance. Um, what it is, is I like to dance frequently during the day for exercise. And it's usually without music, although once in a while there's music. And I realized that a, a move I could add to my dance is to really give my hands freedom to go where they want. And that includes uh, a sort of moving them over my face and hair. And I'm putting the video up because I don't see other dancers doing this um, in their videos. So it's as though people haven't thought of this idea. Now it's true a woman might not want to do this because she has makeup on her face. Uh, here's what I'm talking about. I mean, I, maybe I'll hum while I do this so you can imagine some music, but maybe I won't hum. But it's kind of like, you know, just if you're dancing, you can't see the rest of my body, but I'm kind of belly dancing and I'm moving my hands just wherever they want to go. It feels good and it's kind of sensuous the way dance should feel, I think. Kind of um, mellow and, uh, well, sensuous is the best word. As I say, if you had makeup on, I guess it would mess it up. And of course it messes up your hair a bit. Um, so, I guess if you wanted to do it, you might do it when you didn't have makeup on. Um, like in the morning before you make up for the day. Or in the evening. I've made another video how you can dance while you lie in bed. Um, which means the movements of dance, especially Again, I like the belly dance type movements. Um, messing up your hair. Uh, well, I don't really care if my hair is messed up. Um, I've always been a fan of the punk rock movement, and it was kind of accepted that your hair might be messed up. And I always thought it looked pretty cool. For people who do care, uh, they could always comb their hair. But uh, I like this. It feels good. I think that it's good exercise for your arms just to move them. It's true you're not lifting weights, but with the movement you sort of, um, oh, you just become a little more dexterous because you're working with your hands, running them over the curves of your head and your face. And uh, you are lifting them. You're holding them up. That takes more strength than just having them down at your side. Uh, another nice thing that resulted from this for me is that uh, I, as I ran my hands over my nose, it just got me kind of thinking more about my nose and becoming more aware of odor. And that's been kind of cool just to think about smell and maybe read about it or I've been watching more YouTube videos about smell and good smells learning how people think about smell so that's kind of a fringe benefit so um, I'll uh, show it to you again I guess it's kind of unfortunate that you can't see my whole body but the rest of my body is kind of going back and forth too in this chair but meanwhile, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm trying to make it look real sensual. So I'm exaggerating it a little. But it's just, uh, it, this could be worked up to any music or as part of a dance. Um, and uh, it would give you another option. It would add to your repertoire. So... I hope it helps you, um, or even if you don't use it, it's just interesting to hear about new ideas.